gonna show you how to make a bobber stopper knot for a slip bobber. And the reason why I'm showing you how to make this knot right here to go on your line is because if anybody's ever used a cork like this one right here, where you press it down, I don't know if you can see that, where you press it down and it goes on the end of your line, well, it crimps the line. And say you like fishing in winter time or just fishing in general really, but you're trying to find a fish. You know, you, you try, you're trying to move this cork right here up and down, up and down. Now, I ain't hating on this cork right here because I still use them. But, say you're trying to move the cork up and down, you know, to try to find the depth that the fish is at, bait fish, whatever you're trying to catch. Well, with a, with a uh, bobber stopper knot and a slip bobber, which is this right here, this is a little slip bobber. It's got a hole that goes all the way through it, through both ends. And uh, you can get these things right here at Walmart pretty cheap, man. You get like three of them for like, I think it's $1.97 or something like that. You can tell I've used this one a lot right here. I mean, it has been used. <clears throat> but uh, when you're trying to find a dip, man, all you got to do is just slide the knot up. And you know what I'm saying? You can find them where you want to. And I've used it. it I haven't only used it for catfish. I use it for catfishing a lot. But I've used it for brim fishing, bass fishing, crappy fishing, and catfishing. And you can use it for pretty much any kind of fishing. I'm pretty sure you can go to the ocean and use it. A slip slip knot you know what i'm saying for for the same thing a little uh bobber stopper knot that i'm about to show you and uh hopefully this right here helps somebody and i can tie the thing at like nighttime without even looking because when you're actually on the water or you're fishing you don't want to have to sit there and just keep playing around with fishing line keep playing around with fishing line you want to get out there and fish man is what you want to do you don't want to have to sit there and deal with it and retie and do all this and uh the way I'm about to show you how to do it is simple, so I'm going to jump into this right here, set my camera up, and show you how I tie this thing, because it's so easy. But if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, and if you are subscribed and you came back to watch the video, I appreciate you coming back to watch the video. Alright, this right here is the way that I tie uh bobber stopper knot right here. This red line is going to represent the actual bobber stopper down the tie. The clear line right here, that line right there, that's going to be for the... Uh, the main line it's going to be act as the main line that's on your fishing pole but what i do is this is what i do right here it's pretty simple and it's very easy all right you just cut off a little bit of line this is mono is what it is this is mono both phones mono i don't use nothing else i just use straight up mono film but what i do is i just pinch them right here together simple just very simple nighttime you can do that so easy daytime you can too but when you what i'm saying is, is at night time it makes it easier for me and what I do is is I just make a little loop right here and I pinch it all together so you got a loop right beside your line right here this main line here's your little loop if your main line was out the way and you weren't holding on to that all you did was was this right here this is all you're doing you're just taking a line and just pulling it back together and you're just making a simple little loop like you're gonna tie like a pretty much like you're gonna tie an overhand knot you know what I mean just like that right there but instead of doing that you just make a little loop and i'm just holding all that together that's what i'm doing whenever i do it what i do is i take my um uh, my ring finger my middle finger and i hold it and i hold this beside it now you got your now you got your um, main line and this line you want these to be kind of parallel and the next thing i do is i use my thumb and my index finger to wrap that tag in around the main line and on the inside of the loop just like that and you're just holding you still just holding it all together hold every bit up together and and then you might have to adjust your fingers a little bit but once you get the hang of it you're just it automatically your fingers will do it and you just keep wrapping sometimes i wrap it like five times sometimes i wrap it six times sometimes i really don't even know how many times i wrap it when i'm out there on the water but once you get done wrapping it you just take your little tag ends right here and what you do is you just want to pull it straight down that's all you want to do is just pull it down just keep and keep all your line and everything out of the way and you just pull it down man my hands are a little bit a little bit uh sweaty right this second but you just pull it down you can you can pull it as tight as you want to so it'll be cinched onto your line a little bit better but this just for demonstration purposes show you how i do it and Another thing is, is when you are making this knot, if you wet it, it'll, it, when you wet mine, uh, it pretty much makes it a little bit more better than when you're trying to cinch it all down. 
instead of just doing it when everything's dry but you just cinch it down and what you do is as you cinch it down you can pull as tight as you want to get as, as uh, tight as you want on your main line but once you get done you take and you want to cut your tag ends off let's see if i can't cut these tag ends off man i ain't got nothing to really cut these tag ends off with oh yeah dude, i got a pair of scissors right here hold on what you do is is you just want to take and cut your little tag ends off like this right here you want to cut them pretty much as close as you can to your main line without cutting your main line you just cut that little bad boy off right there you take and you want to cut that little bad boy off right there and what you essentially got man you know it ain't tightened all the way down it don't look the prettiest but this is just a demonstration but when this is tightened all the way down it look real good but what you got here is you got your little bobber stopper knot and what you do and what you can do is you can just move up and down your line and let me show you right here with this uh, cord you just stick your little you stick your line right here in the end of your cord right there and it'll come out the other side once you push it far enough and then what you got right here that's what you got you got your bobby stopper but all that right there needs to be tightened up you know I, like i said that's just demonstration purpose. you don't tighten it you see what happened right there if you look at it real good it's want to come untie but if you tighten it down you know what i'm saying it, it won't do that but i was trying to show you quick right here how to do it but what essentially happens is let me zoom out right here a little bit what essentially happens is when your cork hits the water it'll go up and it'll hit a little bobber stopper and it'll stop and you can raise this up and down however you want to so you can get the depth you want but that's why I wanted to show you, man, was this little simple little bobber stop right there. And that's how easy it is to tie it. You can tie it at nighttime. Once you figure out how to tie it right here, man, you got it then. And just practice on it a little bit. Next thing you know, you'll be tying it with your eyes closed. And it's so simple. And it works for all kinds of fishing, man. It'd be very useful when you get out there to fish. And I appreciate everybody watching.